Jim, um, five from five. Uh, I don't think many Ketchum Town fans would have thought that at the start of the season. Um, what has the turnaround been? Yeah, it's been um, it's been great, really. Uh, that you know we, we've got similar players to what we've had most of the season. Um, and, and you championed them when you were in charge. You said that the quality's here. Yeah, there's some really good players in there, and I think you know having Lavs and Tom involved as well, it's just solidified what what we needed to solidify. Um, it's given us more belief it, that, you know, to be fair to the lads, they've worked hard. They've completely earned it. Um, they're earning those accolades at the moment. And let's be honest, you know, we're not in a position that we want to be if you look at a league table and we shouldn't be. But we had to prove that. We're starting to prove that at the moment. I think, you know, catching fans that will come and watch at the moment, they'll see that defensively as a group we are completely solid. There's still criticism that I think we can be better at holding the ball and sustaining pressure further forward. Um, we're working hard to try and do that. But look, it's about results at the, at the moment. Teams can't break us down easy and it's testament to the players. Uh, to, certainly to picking out defensively that it's been so much noticeable I mean it's another clean sheet as well that's the another incredible thing that's about six clean sheets now isn't it so that's really incredible and, and testament to the hard work but there's just a, a, a desire to win that ball back as well even if it's in the final third of the pitch yeah there's trust and belief in players if they're not doing it you know there is now an openness if you're not doing it you're getting dug out for it you know and that's probably what Lavs brings as well he brings that type of persona with him players know that you can't hire players have got to work hard to you know to earn the right and we're earning that right at the moment and uh, you know it's good to see and you know there's been two or three one nils where you know we want to get that second goal fortunately we did in the end today but still it, it looked like we were going to have to work and, and hold on for a one nil but eventually we got that bit of uh, extra space and, and won it two nil and you know it's, a, it's another clean sheet it's another win it's putting us into a I think we've probably gone above Bromsgrove today it's put us in a, a you know more fortuitous position with teams to come that we don't fear you know so there's more to come two good goals as well one beautifully worked the cross coming in and, and uh, Addis uh, nodded it in really well and the second he'll say he meant it I think I think it wasn't quite met cleanly but just two good goals to, to, to cement what was a good defensive performance yeah the first goal is an absolute quality cross from Bruno um, Addy's not really had to move and, and he's just had the finishing touch great cross um, very inviting and, and that gave us you know an important lead and again more to defend against because you know we'd worked so hard defensively so to give ourselves a goal puts takes a bit of pressure off um, the second goal himself you know there's there's two or three of us on the side I think screaming for him to play Tom Scott in or roll someone in and in the end obviously he's got shot off and it's it's dipped in off the post and look he deserves the two goals for his work rate his, his effort sometimes you know we don't hold the ball up as well as we can do up there but he's he's difficult to play against Addy you know and he's someone that we've not had in the squad all season we've not had that probably big target man that can hold the ball up enough and be strong and just cause problems and you know on this pitch as well especially you just need someone that's going to do the doggy work and, and he definitely does that and deserves his two goals and one of the slight criticism might be that it's hard work and it's endeavour and it's great and obviously results are really important and Kettering's still even 10 points clear it's still not in, you know not mathematically certain yet is the entertainment factor there yet do you think though is that, is that still to come look if you ask me any fan would you want to be entertained and lose a football match against you know working extremely hard maybe not as entertaining but you get the wins you want the wins you know where we are in the league you want the wins and and to be um, to be fair to Lavs you know he's come in and he's acquired a, a squad of team you know he's only probably bought Charlie and a, a, you know one or two in the rest are probably not his players so to get the tune that he's getting at the moment we're not going to care we want results and that's the important thing next year might be a different story but you know not many teams on this pitch will come and entertain with superb football you know that, that's no detriment to the pit that is just the fact you know that is the fact and you know last year gloves had to do the same we're having to do something similar, but we don't care. We're winning games, we're keeping clean sheets, we're difficult to break down, and that's what it's about. And just quickly, uh, you lost Ty during the warm-up, no Reindorf today as well, so slightly you know, stretched up front again. Any uh, updates on those two injuries and how we're doing? Yeah, Ty is just still his back. You know, it's, it's a recurring injury that he's had for a long time. He keeps trying to come back and it, it's just not quite ready. It's been unfo really unfortunate for him, but that is, the, that is the reality. Michael took a knock at Sudbury last week. Um, he came on Tuesday, second half towards the end, felt it was okay, trained on Thursday, 
thought this isn't right. So, you know, we've, we've took the decision to leave him out. And yeah, a little bit stretched, but, you know, Bruno came in and did a fantastic job for us. Um, and that shows, you know, the wealth of the squad at the moment. People have had to buy their, buy their time. And, you know, lads that came on, especially Tuesday, you know, lads that hadn't had minutes for a long time, putting a really good shift. So the squad's looking healthy and a really important part of the season. We're not... We're not looking at trying to escape relegation internally. We're looking at how high can we can we finish? Can we finish 12? Can we finish 10th? You know, and there's still you know a lot of points up for grabs, and, and we're confident. Music's pumping. Five from five, guys. Well done today. Thanks very much. Thank you.